hello guys uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial and uh, in here i have a, a hyper-v uh, machine and i have installed ubuntu 16.04 uh, and uh, i have already set up uh, gitlab and the i have installed uh, docker and you can install the docker uh, by looking at this uh, web page and all you have to do is just search, uh, search for this and just click here and, and run uh, these commands these commands and then it will install the uh, docker on your machine and uh, so uh, this is a, a .NET Core project with Angular 4 and a few yeah, uh, so you can see that uh, the docker file uh, this one and the GitLab uh, Contours integration configuration file this one and these two files are necessary to uh, set up the Contours integration and the, and the docker uh, image building uh, part so what I have done here is uh, I'm just uh, getting this as the parent uh, image and then I'm switching to the uh, source uh, directory and then copy all the uh, all the files uh, that is under this directory means this all these files will be copied to the root of this image so after that I will restore the uh, look at packages and then the node modules and then I will start the publish it to the uh, app folder which is located in this image and then I will switch to that uh, directory then uh, start the application so that's the uh, docker file and uh, so we uh, let's look at the uh, gitlab uh, con contents integration uh, configuration file so in here i will i have uh, two uh, shell commands uh, that will run uh, so you can see that uh, this is the one that will going to execute first so let's look at uh, what it will do so this command will uh, remove any containers uh, that's uh, th that is created using uh, this image name actually uh, this is the image name that we uh, going to give uh, when it built so if you ever uh, going to use this configuration files just uh, give sh uh, make sure to uh, rename these uh, these lines and uh, in here also uh, just make sure the, this is a, a project name actually a project directory name uh, this one and this is the uh, dl name actually you can find the dl name in here if you go to the bin and uh, debug so you can uh, see the dl name in here and then uh, then it will start to build uh, and then it will run and it will map the port 80 to uh, 5000 and so what I have uh, given in here is uh, now let's uh, think that uh, continuous integration will uh, run these things and it will uh, run the image so think that uh, you have to restart the uh, server for um, some reason so if you haven't give this one uh, it will not going to auto start the uh, this container so by doing that uh, we will make sure that uh, if the service restarted our website will not uh, go offline it will automatically restart it so and this is the image name like that and in here uh, so this command will uh, remove the uh, remove any containers that is uh, not uh, running 
it's like a uh, clean up and uh, so i have already uh, pushed it to the repository and i have already set up uh, set up a runner for this project and if you don't know how to set up the runners just uh, look at my previous videos i have uh, i have showed demonstrated uh, how to uh, register runner and how to install gitlab on ubuntu uh, likewise so yeah and uh, you can see in here if you go to this you can see the log uh that is uh, you can see the bit log and uh, actually if you go to the environments and uh, if you click in here it will open the site and uh, let's uh, remove this uh, part from the website and let's see whether it's working or not let me just gonna save this one and then i'm going to commit this one and it will automatically push it to the repository okay you can see that it says running let's uh, view the log and yeah it's done let's uh, refresh this you can see that uh, it have automatically changed so thank you for watching and if you have any problems uh, i will try to uh, help and uh, just uh, leave any questions in the uh, comment section uh, i will answer them uh, to my knowledge that actually i am new to the docker and the gitlab also so yeah and uh, by the way uh, you need to add the uh, gitlab runner user to the uh, docker user group and you can do that by just uh, give me a second to search Just uh, type this uh, command in your terminal, uh, in the server terminal, uh, where the uh, GitLab and the Docker is installed. Because if you haven't uh, run this, uh, it will give uh, some permission errors. So just make sure to uh, add the GitLab uh, runner user to the uh, Docker group. And yeah. Sorry. Uh, this one actually this one just it need to be like this yeah uh, like this uh, group name and the username group name and the username yeah and thank you for watching and have a nice day